There's a lot going on with this stuff, man. A lot going on. War is crazy. War is bad. War doesn't sound like it's a very good thing. And it seems like there are a lot of people out there who want to escalate, escalate, and escalate tensions. Instead of taking the information that we are getting and trying to de-escalate any of the situations. It seems like there's just a lot of people who want World War III, and I don't understand why. Now, the whole biolabs thing has been talked about uh, for the past week and a half, two weeks maybe. And at first it sounded like a conspiracy, like, oh no, the United States has some biological research facilities in the Ukraine. Now it ends up that we have 20 to 30 biological research uh, labs in Ukraine. And it seems like that's what's being targeted by the Russians. And there has been proof that the Pentagon has been funding research in these labs in the Ukraine. So if I was Russia and I knew that my enemy, even though technically it's not even the Cold War anymore, if I knew that my enemy was funding research labs or research weapons, which you would think, you, you think that it's research weapons. Maybe it's not. Maybe they are just doing the regular studies. But the, the studies that they're doing is on anthrax and coronaviruses and all these types of things. And Russia feels like there's been some outbreaks coming from some of these labs. Now, I found, um, I have an American version, which is the Tucker Carlson, and then I have the Indian version, which is from uh, the Republic. Is it the Republic YouTube page for them? Yeah, it's the Republic World, Republic World, the Indian uh, channel news, Indian news channel. And they have an update on what Russia is claiming uh, that they've found so far. And then we push that back to what the information that we're getting from our own heads. And how do we decipher what the hell is really actually going on there? Because it's not like the actual American people knew that we were going to be funding labs. And, and why would you be funding labs in Ukraine anyway? I mean, there's so many questions to have for all these types of things. It's it's it's. Man, it's, it's just crazy. Is it literally crazy? PM and in about 90 minutes from now, Russia has called for an urgent UNSC meeting on what it calls bioweapons on Ukraine soil. Now, what is this all about? Let me try and explain that in a couple of minutes for you. This is what Russia's biolabs and bioweapons claim is. They claim... So now, now the more recent claims, I'm, I'm assuming these are the more recent that claims. Pentagon has funded Biolabs program in Ukraine. The claim of Moscow is that America has created a network of about 30 Biolabs on Ukraine soil details. In, in uh, I think Russia, or not Russia, but China, recently came out talking about how we had 30 to 40 different Biolabs throughout the world, and it does look like 25 to 30 of them are in the Ukraine. I don't, I mean, what do you do with all of this information? Because if it's for our side, if it's, if it is the American side, the American version of these things, you would think that it's a positive thing for us. Um, <clears throat> very scary though. It, it, this, uh, this is all, uh, man, this, these things can escalate so quickly and get out of hand so quickly. Which are now emerging. Russia claims that Ukrainian scientists have identified six families of viruses. Six and families, Ukrainian families scientists of viruses. Identified three types of pathogenic bacteria and that these labs, the bio labs Three types of pathogenic America bacteria. Of Russia is talking about experimented. Bat to human bat disease transmission. We've, hmm. Wonder where we've heard of that before. Bat to human trans transmission. Hmm. Disease, disease transmission. transmission. Very. They claim that three bacteria. Oh, pathogenic. man. Are there any good guys out there? Because I definitely do not think that the Russians are good guys. But I'm starting to think that we're probably not so good either. Why well, don't... I've never thought any of us were... None of us are any good. No, none of us are any good. Humans, I'm saying. ...of viruses were part of this study. It's a stunning claim, papers of which have been released by the Russian media. They claim that $32 million in U.S. aid was given for these biolabs in Kiev, in Odessa... And those are all the spots where they're they're 
the cities which the are Russians are coming in and have been under intent shelling for the last right 32 uh, sorry 23 days right now, let's tell you what bioweapons Russia easily transmittable from claiming. animals to humans Russia is claiming that bioweapons are easily transmittable from animals to humans and they go on to make a series of claims now let's tell you and let's uh, also look at whether there are US run biolabs in Ukraine and what Russia claims well, they, I mean, haven't we clarified, didn't didn't the American side clarify that we did have biological research facilities, but they are not biological weapon research facilities? I think that was kind of like the, the claim. In person, from the details available now, do I Ukraine. believe that they're weapons? Probably. Probably. But I would make them, if I were doing it, I would make them uh, research, research facilities under the surname of research facilities, but I would probably be doing some weapons. I wouldn't be telling you that I'm working on weapons, but I would be working on weapons. I mean, that's the most logical thing, right? That makes sense. Uh, information I would. was concealed about Dido Filariceus outbreak. Now in 2018, outbreak of in tuberculosis cases. Russia cases. Came, there was an outbreak of tuberculosis cases. And then these papers that have released that have been released uh, by Russia, uh, you can also find details of these papers on republicworld.com. They say that in 2021, Russia suffered damage, damage from the bird from flu bird exceeded 1.7 billion, billion rubles. Billion rubles. Huh. And they claim a result of these biolabs was also felt in 2021 in Europe. Damage from bird flu, they claim exceeded 2 billion euros. They claim so this is crazy this because year. all of these things now now that we're starting to get into the whole bio lab research facilities and obviously this is the next step in the evolution of wartime weapons um the nuclear stuff was great because it's like the biggest explosion that you can come up with and oh my god of course we went there first but now we're taking these steps and i mean just humans in general russians american i mean uh, every single one of them the war tactics now this war tactic is going to be crazy. I mean, we just had the coronavirus pandemic, not saying that that's even over yet. Hopefully it is. And at least with a nuclear blast, you see a big bomb explode and then you know that there's radiation, you gotta get out of there. Hopefully, and you probably die from the radiation poisoning anyway. This stuff right here, you're not gonna know about it until your internal, org until your internal organs start billowing out of your belly. You're not going to know about this until your nose starts bleeding. You're not going to know about it until you start bleeding out of your butt. You're not going to know about it until it's too late. Especially when it comes to these bioweapons. These bioweapons are going to get crazy. And do not think that actual terrorists are not trying to get a hold of this stuff. Because they want to cause problems in whatever population, whatever area in the world they want to do it. So bioweapons are scary as shit. And... Where is this going to go? Where is this going to go? Because there's not much that you can do once these things get out. As we've seen, the coronavirus wasn't, I mean, it was, it was a flu. It was like the flu on maybe not the strongest steroids there are, but on some pretty good steroids. And it took out a good bit of people and it whooped people's asses. Now, if they're trying to weaponize it and instead of it escaping from a lab and they actually release it and they make it more stronger or more comp like it's just i don't see how i don't see how we're going to be surviving man we have nuclear bombs we have biological weapons not to mention all of the regular the the fucking traditional bombs that we have i mean we'll do the we'll do the job with our bare hands killing each other but now you you have mustard gas you have all these things that are making it so much easier to kill each other so much easier to kill each other in both Georgia and Ukraine, there was a project to analyze the role of bats as natural reservoir for pathogen. Now, these are stunning claims being made by Russia. There are documents to these effects. That analyze the role of bats as natural reservoir. Wait, go back. Reservoir natural reservoir for pathogen. For pathogen. Ah. Now, these are stunning claims being made by Russia. There are documents. To so they're testing to see how how well bats could be a, a good carrier for the pathogens and those types of that things. Has now been circulated by the Russian media as well. Now, talking about these biolabs, let me get you some more details of what we know so far from these Russian media claims and the documents that they've released. They claim that American-run biolabs in Ukraine 
are behind everything that has been happening in and around Ukraine. These uh, very suspicious diseases. Now, this is what Russia. Ah, claims. very suspicious uh, diseases. See now, now, I would like to see the studies from the actual population. Because you know they're keeping track of the different diseases. And if we can see a large influx of specific types of diseases that would come from those labs. Now, there are people that can tell these types of these, this type of information if they look close enough. But are we going to get that information? In Kherson, biological laboratory and uh, some of those documents they claim is destroyed. Uh, secondly, they claim that uh, U.S. and uh, U.S. has been irresponsible in biological activities. And uh, it's something that's not new. <laughs> it's and, nothing uh, that's not new. <laughs> Everyone's incompetent. Everyone's incompetent. Yeah, that's not new. But it's not new to say that about the Russians, vice versa. It's not my. It's it's not new for any of this because you know that's just the human condition. In, Humans are irresponsible. We are. In the, last, in the last few days, Russia has sort of ramped up the pressure diplomatically, also taking this issue to the UNSC. They've been backed by China as well. Let's get you this report and we'll go across to our guests to talk about this bioweapons claim and whether there is actually water to these claims. Let me go across to... Uh, yeah, it's, it's, just, to it's just a lot. It's just a lot. So all of that new information is coming out. And then we had uh, Tulsi Gabbard, who's a Democrat, coming out and saying this. Here are the undeniable facts. There are 25 to 30 U.S. funded bio labs in Ukraine. According to the U.S. government, these bio labs are conducting research on dangerous pathogens. Ukraine is in an active war. Which would, which would be reasonable. I, w I could understand that you, you're working on these biological labs. Now, the location of these biological labs, uh, I don't know. There's a lot, lots of explaining to do. Zone Lots of explaining to do. bombing, artillery and shelling. And these facilities, even in the best of circumstances, could easily be compromised and release these deadly pathogens. That's why it's scary that they're blowing them up. And are they actually blowing up the labs or are they blowing up weapons facilities that are hidden in certain hospitals and these types of things? Because, you know, if you're blowing up the hospitals, they're probably blowing up the hospitals because... There's probably some weapons that were being transferred into the hospitals because those are a good spot to hide weapons if you're going to be hiding weapons during a war because then if somebody blows up the hospital, then you can be like, hey, they're doing war crimes. They're destroying hospitals where we're trying to save people, but it's a war, so I don't even know how that would even matter anyway. But now we're seeing all of these research facilities. Now the pathogens, now the U.S. biological labs are a big, big story now we're going to have to see where this is going to lead but it's not looking good it's not looking good hopefully they'll have their emergency meeting and then they'll be able to sit down and have a conversation and get it figured out and uh, the u.s will be like oh hey hey bro hey bro no no worries no big deal we're we, we're working on some vaccines we got a good bit of we got a good bit of stuff over here check it out we weren't gonna we weren't gonna release no pathogens on your population or anything and then the russians will be like oh thanks man i was just i was so worried about that i was so nervous because you know the whole nato thing and then all of a sudden you guys having like over 30 biological research labs in our own in a country right next to our neighbor so we're 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 happy that you're you're chilling out maybe it'll all chill out maybe china will come in and be like hey guys can't we all just get along can't we all just get along and then everybody goes gets back together and it, and it's peaceful right is that, that is that how it's gonna is that how it's gonna work or is everyone just gonna keep escalating and escalating and pointing the fingers across the pond i don't know man hopefully we'll continuously to get better than this but that whole um man this whole biological warfare is starting to heat up and the crazy thing about the biological warfare is you won't even know that it's an attack you'll just be sick and then eventually you can do the numbers like hopefully they'll be able to figure out if there were infections that did escape any of those labs and you can look at the the uh, the 
demographics of the population and see w how many of them had specific types of diseases that are correlated to the um, the things that they're working on in the labs. Either way, guys, I don't think there <laughs> I don't think there are any good guys anymore. I think we're all bad. We're all the baddies. <laughs> Root for the best baddie. Uh -huh.